space, the ultimate playground. These are the shore leaves of the starship Exit Fine. Her five-year mutiny, to deplore strange new worlds, but to seek out the easy life and the perfect tan. To boldly go for the heck of it, where no man would dare to go. Without his gold card, of course. these tourists, the couples are walking around, they're wearing these t-shirts saying, I'm his because he deserves the best. The guy's got one, I'm hers because she deserves the best. Take a look at the people that wear these things. The best of what? Interbreeding of cousins? Bad. Names of cereals are stupid, aren't they? Product 19. What's, what, what is the story here? Is that how many days it takes to digest it? She called Grape Nuts product 365. What is that infernal racket, Mr. Splotch? Please, we're trying to watch a show. It's, it's just the alarm, Captain. It's time to make another log entry. Again? Seems that's all I do around here is make log entries. Captain's log. Start date 8712364972651322. The exit fine is en route to the shore leave planet 711 in the Alpha Beta sector for a well-earned rest. Planet 711 also happens to be the site of the Federation ping pong tournament. Mr. Snot is currently in the lead. However, I have a, uh, a wee bit of a surprise ready for him. <laughs> Squirt out. Mr. Snack, you know I always make myself available to my crew. Why was the ping pong table taken from the recreation room to your quarters? That's against Star Trek regulations. Snaddy, I, I don't have time for trifles like that right now. But Captain, you said you're always available for your men. Captain, we stopped dead in space. We've, we've lost all engine power. Is that true, Mr. Splotch? No, don't be silly, Captain. Lieutenant Slowyu has leaned on the warp drive button again. Mr. Checkout, would you please re-engage the warp engines? Mr. Splotch, why can't Star Freak Command supplies for trained personnel? It's not like we're on a, a leisure cruise. But, Captain, we are on a leisure cruise. Oh, yeah, I uh, forgot. Captain Squirt, our next shore leave planet is dead ahead. Excellent, Mr. Checkout. I haven't had shore leave for two days. I'm beginning to think I might have started working for a living. Captain! What's that? Mr. Splotch. What is that? Mr. Checkout, what is that? It's a Klingon battle cruiser. It's a Klingon battle cruiser. It's a Klingon battle cruiser, Snuddy. I heard that, but, but what's it doing? It's bombarding the Surly planet. Confirmed, Captain. Those filthy Dinnigan slime in it. If I had phasers, I'd blast them to bits. But, Captain, we do have phasers. I know we have phasers, but we're kind of over budget on this episode. <laughs> Mr. Splotch, are they bombarding the planet with photon torpedoes? No, Captain. 
All sensors seem to indicate that they're bombarding the planet with peanut butter parfait. Oh no, not that. I don't understand the logic behind that, Captain. Obviously, peanut butter parfait will do nothing to hurt the surface of the planet. But I'm allergic to peanut butter parfait. Well, sir, it uh, looks like you're disqualified from the ping pong finals. Captain, I am receiving a communication from the commander of the Klingon craft. Main view screen, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. This is Captain James T. Squirt from the USS Exit Pine. What is your reason for bombarding the Shore League planet with peanut butter parfait? This is Commander Deplore of the Klingon Armada. We have bombarded all Federation planets with peanut butter parfait. Our final target is Earth and so soon squirt. You will have no place left to land. Ha 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 Aye, sir. 311, Mark 21. Mr. Slow, you? Emergency warp speed. Aye, sir. Mr. Snot? I'm gonna need everything you've got. Aye, sir. We'll just see who's gonna bombard the Earth with peanut butter parfait. Captain, the Klingon ship is pursuing us to attack. You make some action, Mr. Slow, you? Aye, sir. Captain, the helm isn't answering. Maybe you dial the wrong number. Try again. Aye, sir. Still nothing, Captain. What could be wrong? What is this, Snotty? Sir, the Klingons have us at a tractor beam. We're finished. Well, I don't want to die. I don't want to be bombarded with peanut butter parfait. Get a hold of yourself, who hurt you? This is no time to crack up. Who's cracking up? I'm going to the observation deck to catch some rays. This is Sponge. How long would it take me to change my name to, uh, Ray? Actually, Captain, I don't think she's your type. I think you need a woman with more... Captain, the peanut butter parfait is closed and fast! We'll discuss this a little later, Mr. Splotch. What have we got that's an effective weapon against peanut butter parfait? Captain, I'm not an expert with complex carbohydrates. You'll have to discuss that with Dr. McQuack. Dr. McQuack, to the bridge. Captain Squid, they fired on us. Captain, it's a plasma of peanut butter parfait. It's like your screens? I don't think they can handle this type of an attack, Captain. Where the devil is Dr. McQuack? What seems to be the problem, Captain? Doctor, what have you got this good for peanut butter parfait? Well, I always like it with strawberry topping myself. Doctor, we're being attacked by the Klingons. They're attacking us with a plasma of peanut butter parfait. Oh, well, that's different. That stuff will make a terrible mess in the engine room. Let me run it through the computer. <laughs> Captain, I'm afraid there's only one thing that'll stop it. What? Well, come on. Well, tell me, man, there's only a few moments left. Castor oil. Now, if you'll excuse me, Nurse Chap Lips and I were in the middle of a golfing lesson on the hangar deck. Castor oil. Mr. Splotch, where are we going to come up with enough castor oil to repel that much peanut butter parfait? Uh, from the engine room, sir. Engine room? Aye, sir. Well, you see, we use it to lubricate the impulse engine kickstarter. The impulse engine is a kickstarter. Aye, sir. Well, you see, I warned Starfleet Command not to award that contract to Honda, but they wouldn't have listened. Engineer, this is the captain. I want you to load all available castor oil into the torpedo tubes. Impact in 10 seconds, sir. Nine. Eight. Seven. One. Just kidding. Six. Torpedo tubes loaded and ready. Five. Four. Fire. Three, two, one. Captain, it worked. The castor oil melted the peanut butter parfait and it dripped back to the Klingon battle cruiser. Well done. Good job, everyone. Mr. Checkout, please send a course back to the shore leave planet. Aye, sir. Mr. Snot. Aye, sir. 
Do we have enough castor oil left to clean off the Charlie plant? I sir, we do, but uh... But what's not it? Sir, I'm allergic to castor oil. Well, I guess you're just disqualified from the ping pong championship. <laughs> huh. Lieutenant, do you remember what I said earlier about later? Yes. It's later. 